All right, uh, I'm just gonna do a little update here on my battery bank and how easy it is to become complacent with it. And I decided today to come in here and take a look at it. I think today's the 19th of November. And about seven o'clock this morning, I flipped on my computer and checked the uh, voltage of the battery bank. And it was under a small load but it went all the way down to 24.1, which is really low. And uh, I decided to come in and have a look at what's going on. As far as the water level goes on the batteries, they were pretty much full. I probably added maybe uh, four ounces per cell to get these up. I also noticed, I don't know if that's catching, the first six have, uh, looks like these back plates and the center plates are really growing. Looks like a good bit of sulfation, I'm guessing, going on. Look at this one here. It's like a mountain in there. So anyway, I got a good bit of power coming in today. It's a nice clear day. There's uh, 1,820 watts coming in. And I'm going to go outside and show you what I did a little while ago. Uh, it's probably about a month ago. I added, a, I think it was another 370 watts. And those four little panels I have out by the street. It's 390s and one 100. And I tied them all in series. And they seem to be playing well with the other panels. Coming in at about 60 volts. So it's all holding together pretty good. However... I've been uh, negligent in keeping up with these batteries for one reason or another. And it's a sizable investment here, just in the batteries alone is over $2,000. So I'm going to get an EQ going and uh, see if I can get my uh, hydrometer, which I checked this morning. And it was between the top of the white and a couple were in the red. So that's definitely not good. So I gotta give myself a kick in the ass for that. So I'm gonna do an EQ today. And then in the morning I'll check them again and if they need it again, I'll do it again. <clears throat> and I think the reason for this, which is of course nobody's fault but mine, is uh, when I bought these water miser caps, they do a really good job of cutting down on fumes and water consumption in the batteries of the electrolyte. And uh, I was led to believe because of, of the fact you're not constantly adding water to these batteries, you can back off on your equalization. And as a matter of fact, I've been doing it like every other month, and I don't think that's working. So I'm going to try to get, the, get these all back up in the green, which might take a couple of uh, EQ cycles. Now I'm going to be uh, stirring them up. I believe I got it set at 31.5 volts with the 24 volts. So I'm going to click them on for two hours today. And then I'll check them in the morning. And if I need to, I'll uh, do two more hours in the morning tomorrow. But tomorrow I'll do them for two more hours, what I meant to say. So, they're still in the bulk mode. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. There's 1,832 watts coming in. So we'll see how it goes. I'll be back in a while. All right, just to show what I do here, when I'm gonna EQ my batteries, I shut the uh, my transfer switch and I take everything offline so they can rest and uh, get a good charge. This is one of the best things I ever did, put these six switches in. Normally it's, uh, powering the front half of my home which in all reality it's pretty much just the uh, refrigerator and freezer and it also powers the uh, modem for the uh, internet and the TV if I ever turn it on all right I'll be back in a while okay here's uh, day two Sunday morning I came in here and uh, checked my battery bank early this morning 
the electrolyte was almost in the green uh, didn't quite do a real good job yesterday it was pretty sunny and then it got kind of cloudy and kind of killed up the uh, EQ process so today's a nice sunny day I'm EQing them again we're trying to get a complete equalization it's about uh, I don't know quarter to ten it's 1450 watts coming in 31 volts I got this set at 31.5 so I don't know why it's not going up and complacency led me to this ever since I put this Samlex inverter in here I've had zero issues with this system and as such with everything else I got going on you tend to forget because you're not having problems and uh, believing I could back off on the EQ intervals has led me to the position I'm in now which is hopefully I didn't do too much damage to my batteries I'm gonna try to show you what the water looks like looks like uh, I don't know if that's showing up or not real dirty muddy And then of course it uh, when I settle down it clears up again so I'm gonna do them again today hopefully I can get these uh, all back up in the green on the uh, hydrometer and I'm definitely not going to wait every two months like I was doing because obviously that just doesn't work so yes these water miser caps do keep the water in your battery and uh, the fumes out but looks to me like you still got to come in here and give these a good hard at least a minimum two hour EQ cycle at least once a month this was a very uh, possibly expensive amount of damage I've done here to myself and I got nobody to blame but me and again it was uh, strictly be becoming complacent because I'm having no issues and as I said yesterday I happened to look at the uh, classic and I saw the batteries were down to 24.1 and that caused me to come in here and see what the hell was going on because that's just way too low. All right, I'm gonna let it go all day. I'll probably do an update maybe tomorrow. I'll let you guys figure out, see how this turned out. So I'm a little bummed out right now. Nobody to blame but me. I know better. I've been playing with this almost six years now. I should never let this happen. So. You're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Alright, I'm going to let this run for a couple hours and let them cool out and see what they look like tomorrow morning. That's it for now. I'll give you an update on how much damage I think I may have done to the batteries. And I really wish I would have taken pictures of each cell inside this battery from day one. And I could have uh, had a good running log of how they were changing inside the battery the lead acid plates were changing over time I really wish I would have done that maybe that would give you something to think about go take a peek at yours so just sharing my stupidity don't do what I did because it don't work all right that's it I'll do an update to this little fiasco thanks for watching